So you've created a morph in ZBrush or in Blender, that amazing masterpiece, and now you want to save it and perhaps share it with other people. How do you do that? Well, first of all, saving the morph works like this. With your figure selected, head over to File, Save As, Support Asset, Morph Asset. That will bring up a little dialog in which you can choose where to save the morph. I'm going to use my regular DAS Studio Runtime Library, but you can click that little triangle here and pick another one. I'm just going to use this one for demo purposes. The vendor name, that's your name. So let's type it in. I'm Javis Lewis, or whatever handle you're known as on the internet. Then comes the product name. So if you have this morph and perhaps several other morphs together, group them together and name them as you would name your product. I'm just going to leave it as product to make it easier. Now comes the important part. Pick that morph from the list. Now ours is saved under the Genesis 8 male figure in a folder called ZBrush and it's called Balloon. We can find that here by opening this hierarchy up. There's ZBrush and there's my morph Balloon. Click only the morph or the morphs that you'd like to share. Hit accept and DAS Studio does its thing. Now, when I delete my Genesis 8 male figure and bring him back under the parameters tab, there's my morph. That's awesome. So every Genesis 8 male figure will now have my morph available. But how do you share it and where does it actually go? Well, let's have a look. This happens in my Windows Explorer and I'm going to have a look for my regular DAS Studio library. That's in my case on the C drive and that's where the default is under users, public, public documents and there it is, my DAS 3D library. In here, you'll be forgiven if you look under people and perhaps Genesis 8 mail, but you'll find there's no morphs in here. So where did they go? Well, two steps up in my regular DAS Studio library, it's under data. And in there, it's under DAS 3D. And in here, you'll find Genesis 1, Genesis 2, Genesis 3, and Genesis 8 generations. Now mine's under Genesis 8, double click that. Here's female and male, depending on what figure you've saved the morph for. Mine is under male, and there's morphs. It gets better. Under Morphs, you have DAS 3D and you have your own vendor name, the one that you've just typed in. Those are the Morphs under DAS 3D that DAS provide, but this is the one that you've provided. In here, we have another folder. In my case, it's called Product. This corresponds to your actual product title. So if you would call it Frilly Bits, then this would say Frilly Bits. And in here, you've got the actual DSF Morph file, and that's the one that you need to share. Now, be mindful that if you're sharing this for people to install into their own content library, you need to provide the whole path to this thing so that when people unzip it into their library, the whole path gets unzipped and that thing gets copied to the correct location. For that, I recommend you create a brand new folder anywhere you like, call it whatever you like, and just make sure that in DAS Studio, that is mapped under your content library in your content directory manager. So under DAS Studio Format, just add another one, point to that folder that was on my desktop here, and I've called it My Morphs. Select that, now it's on here, hit Accept, and now we can save our morph again, like we did before. This time, however, we make sure we select the correct My Morphs package here, which is the empty directory I've just created. Type in your vendor name, type in your product, select your morph, now you can zip up this whole directory structure here and share it with friends and family who can unzip it and then use your morph just like any other morph. I hope this makes sense. If not, leave me a comment below.